Hey what's up YouTube this is Chris Gardner here and today I just wanted to show you a little bit of uh, you know some things in Photoshop when it comes to doing property boundaries on drone photos because that's something I, uh, I see in some of the groups people asking about and it is a pretty you know easy thing to do once you learn it so I thought I would uh, show you I've been doing this for a little while and here we go so I like to start with the lasso tool and you know obviously when you're flying you should have some idea of the boundaries so that you can make the, the landmarks in person and and know what they look like when it comes time to see them in uh, you know from the air on a photo so in my case kind of actually don't even include the entire boundaries here but that doesn't matter uh, you know it's gonna happen like this was a pretty big property and it's gonna happen you know if you shoot anything over probably 60 70 acres and you're gonna start making photos of you know maybe one corner of the lot or something uh, where you're gonna have to be breaking the rules to fly higher than you may maybe are supposed to anyway so we got the lasso tool we are getting the two corners off screen you know which are obviously further out like maybe here closer there but that doesn't matter for our purposes and then i know that they were just little bit up just in line with this power pole here and uh, you know allowing for a little bit of a setback which is normal to the road places there we go so now we have that and we can go here with the paint bucket uh, already on a new layer any color doesn't matter yet and we just hit that now it doesn't look so good Let's get rid of that and then we will go here and do stroke. Now you can choose any color like I actually, I'll, I'll show you in a minute, but I have a couple of these set up, um, you know, based on the co color of the landscape. So let's say, you know, this time of year, I, I am doing a little bit more of this, uh, this blue because, you know, our landscape kind of has no blue sky here today. It wasn't very nice and you just kind of, you still want something that's going to make the photo look a little better if you can especially when it's vacant land I think they need all the help they can get in their marketing so uh, if we do an outside boundary and this is sometimes may change based on the you know the property itself but if we do an outside boundary then we don't have this where we you know, want to get rid of boundary coming into the photo when it's not actually a boundary so because that might be misleading and or confusing and we don't want to do that so uh, the first step is getting the boundary on and then the next step you can do is oops, color overlay and this one's already set up uh, but you know choose a complementary color to the boundary you've chosen is what I would recommend you know this might look a tiny bit weird if you had uh, blue green no. and this is set to screen mode so different you know, uh, different effects I find screen is good because we're highlighting and that's you know one of the things we are doing is we're highlighting so let's highlight it screen mode's a good good mode for that uh, and then drop the opacity down and now, because we have the fill at zero, it's only showing us our effects that we've done. And one other thing I like to do is you can go new style and then call this whatever you want. And I have a few of these set up for, you know, my own property boundaries. And, you know, you might want to set up three, like one for green, yellow, and, and blue or something like that. And, uh, and then it's just a, a nice single click, you know, draw your polygon, fill it, make a single click, uh, add a style, and, and there's your boundary done. <clears throat> and one other thing you're going to want to you know, consider doing is uh, let's get aerial boundary. So I have a couple of these based on what it is. Uh, you know, sometimes the agent or the destination of the marketing. So may want to have a very fast action to add these property boundaries 
onto any photo that you do because uh, you know, this isn't legal advice or anything like that but you, you may want to consider you know always having that talk when you deliver a photo or uh, putting it straight on the photo itself and then somewhere that it can't be missed can't be cropped except I normally wouldn't choose to put it in here so that's a quick way to kind of step up your real estate photography with uh, aerials on vacant land which you know something I see a lot as you can see in this kind of area uh, just big swaths of land and there's really nothing else you can do but, but shoot a few pictures and, and try and hope that that picture delivers the right amount of information for someone who may want to buy this property so thanks for watching uh, I'm gonna share some more videos coming up with you soon I got a lot of you know kind of information I can bring to people who are getting into uh, real estate photography and marketing and all that sort of stuff and it's it's applicable to other fields as well as you'll see uh, thanks for watching